Happy Monday, guys. It is Sneak Peek Monday. That's right. Sneak Peeks are still going strong. Doesn't it seem like it was years ago before we had Sneak Peeks at all? Well, they're still going strong, as I said, and today it's going to be time to look at the new Eagle Artillery in defense. First of all, you can see it uh, right now on the map. Finally, we have a Max Town Hall 11 map here with the four Expos. We have the level 8 uh, Wizard Towers as well as the Grand Warden patrolling next to the Queen. And of course, the Eagle Artillery is going to be the subject of today's video. We're going to go ahead and watch a defensive replay. And I also want to announce that it's going to have two levels and only two levels right now. It's certainly a powerful unit. It will uh, remain to be seen how much of a game-changing unit it will be. I don't know. This is a pure speculation. By, by, by watching this replay that we're going to take a look at, it doesn't seem quite as uh, strong as it was at ClashCon, but maybe I could be totally off because, honestly, we, we're seeing it against dragons now, not a, uh, not against the uh, the heroes or the go wipe troops that we saw displayed at ClashCon. But before we do that, I want to touch on yesterday's information regarding the forum exclusive. The This is the, uh, the war loop bonus for Town Hall 11. So a level 1 clan... Uh, the, without any clan perks, is going to have 660 gold and elixir and 3600. If you're a max clan perks, that's going to uh, equal out to 825. A, uh, 825k and 4500 dark elixir and as I said two levels on the eagle artillery that's for a maxed out town hall 11 so a max weight base that's going to be the loot so anyway let's go ahead and get into the replay uh, while we do I did want to mention that uh, it's going to come fast this replay so before we get to it I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down and play it in half speed so we really get a chance to analyze and see how it is defensively. Now the mechanics of this Eagle Artillery, they look to be the same as they were at ClashCon. Now for those of you who have been under a rock or, or who did not tune in to have the, uh, the display of this defense at ClashCon, uh, what it is is every time you deploy more troop capacity, the eagle starts opening slowly. If you if you split screen there, you can see the eagle's mouth actually opens slowly and slowly. It looks to be maybe about three toggles there as you deploy more troops. And eventually, once there's about, I don't know, a hundred or so troops on the map, we'll have to wait and see that exact figure. Then the, uh, the artillery opens, and that's when you have a problem if you're the attacker. Now, like I said here, it is open right now. We're using the Grand Warden on defense set to air. Uh, I should clarify that uh, the the uh, the defensive abilities for the Grand Warden are going to uh, be uh, capable. It's going to go on de defense, turn into a building versus air or ground. So the setting defensively does not matter, only offensively. But look at how powerful the Grand Warden. I'm sorry, we're supposed to be talking about the Eagle Artillery, but God... That uh, Grand Warden's uh, Eternal Tome ability looks pretty cool. In fact, it actually protected the dragons against the Eagle Artillery. So, as you saw there, I mean, that's basically the mechanics, right? So you're going to have, it has a huge range. We didn't even see the range on this video because you can only see the range, obviously, if you're on defense. And the uh, the, the video that Supercell provided did not include the, uh, the range of the uh, defensively of the Eagle Artillery. But it has a huge range, almost the entire map, meaning that if you drop uh, troops way out over in the corner of the map, it's still going to affect them. The, uh, the Eagle Artillery is going to still target them. So as you can see here, they did not get the Town Hall down, the Dragons, as you as they did in previous replays. So there was a lot going on in this uh, attack replay. I'd encourage you guys to go ahead and watch it back, because not only were we looking at the Eagle Artillery and how it interacted with the Dragons and uh, where it targeted. I mean, that's another important note. Uh, from what I understand, and again, this is not set in stone, but this is just my understanding, is for the first time ever, we almost have a heat map that we're using on the board. So this Eagle Artillery artillery is very smart defensively, it can actually tell where the highest density of hit points in a given area, a given radius are, and then it, then it targets that radius. And then it, what it does is it sends down a single damage, high damage bolt, and then there's a small amount of splash damage that emanates from that bolt. So. Like I said, guys, that's the information that we were given at ClashCon. Uh, that replay didn't help clear things up 100%, but that's what I observed from it. I'm curious to hear what you guys think, what you guys observed. Go ahead and hit me up in the comments below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.
Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Just a few ways you can help the channel out. Number one, like. Number two, subscribe. And number three, comment. Tell me what you think of the video. I really appreciate it, guys, and it really helps me out a lot. Also, you can find me on social media. I'm active every day on Twitter at Clash underscore with underscore Ash and on Bindle chat group, hashtag Clash with Ash. And as always, you can find me on my website at www.clashwithash.com. Thanks, guys.